What's happening, Cord Cunny Pandas? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I just ordered this Rocam high def amplified indoor antenna, and you may have checked out my uh, recent review, maybe not, of that little tiny TV antenna. And I've been using that, but just one of the drawbacks to it is because I think it's small, and like I said, it's an interior room of the house. Uh, you know, it only picks up a few over the air stations. Now, it's actually okay because it's the station. Uh, or two that I want, but I thought, why not try a little bit more powerful, potentially, or at least larger antenna to see if that actually allows me to pick up some more stations. That'd be pretty cool. So I picked this up primarily because it is, you know, kind of your standard antenna, but it seemed to be a freestanding one. So I didn't have to mount it to the window or the glass or anything like that. And as you can see here, it looks kind of like a floor tile. It's plastic, it has these grooves cut into it, but it's it's relatively thick. Now the edge is thicker than the, the, the antenna itself. It's all really light, it's light plastic. It looks like we have holes here where you can screw holes into the wall, mount it, so you can certainly do that. We also have a little slot here, so I'm assuming there's a little bit of mounting hardware. Now, uh, I wanna show you here, we do have a pretty large, I think it's called a coax cable, if I remember correctly. That should just plug into the antenna port on the back of your TV here. So we have a, quite a bit of cable there, so no issues. We also have a power brick, which is actually a USB cord that goes to an outlet here. So that should power all the, I think the amp here. So this is the amplifier. Now, I didn't really, I don't really get how these work, but I have definitely noticed that they do work. So. So you can see here, uh, this end goes the TV, the antenna plugs in here. It's just like this little inline thing. You plug in the power there, so then that would actually be the part that goes to the TV. And then here is a little kickstand. Here are some screws for mounting it to the wall, which I'm not gonna do, I'm just gonna mount it on kind of a, a, a dresser. And then here is the little kickstand. Now, the kickstand uh, looks like it goes, it slides into this slot right here. If you wanna mount it sideways, that's just like that, right? So you could have it like that. But then there's also a slot looks like right here so I can mount it with the cable on the bottom. Uh, it's a pretty tight, tight fit, but as you can see there, I think that's what I'm gonna need. And then it has a little slot on the bottom so you can run the cable through there. So that's pretty cool. That's probably how I will mount it. So I'm just gonna get everything wired up and let's try and see if we can get some more channels. So as you might be able to see, I'm clearly not getting uh, some of the uh, major channels here in Chicago. So I'm uh, just plugged in the antenna and I'm gonna go over here to auto program and see what it picks up after doing a little search. So just got done auto programming. First of all, let me just tell you, it says 34 channels are memorized. So right off the bat, um, that is a whole heck of a lot more than I had before. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit here and see what we got. Wow, all right. so. I Got the NBC5, it's saying, and uh, I never had that before, 5-2. I never had the 7 before. Wow, that just comes in crystal clear. I never had 7-2. Let's see if that comes in. Yep. Now, I had WGN 9-1, which you can see here in the 9s, but didn't have WTTW, which I think is PBS. Didn't have that. Even with the big antenna here, it's still uh, struggling just a little bit. Or quite a bit, be the obvious, the the, the truest answer. Uh, let's see, twenty, a little broken up on twenty. Twenty six seems to be working fine. I never had any of these channels, so once your main channel comes in, let's try thirty two. That seems to work pretty well too. So I'll tell you what, man, uh, I'm getting a ton more channels than I did before. You know, just by going from that little tiny antenna to a bigger antenna. So no surprise. It shouldn't be any surprise to you, uh, 50 and 60. But I'm just really impressed now. I'm getting a lot of good channels in an interior room, right? This doesn't have a direct access here to a window where I could uh, place the antenna and have kind of a better, you know, better signal. So this is interior and this is a cheap antenna. And that's the thing I like the most about it is that this was one of the cheapest stand-up antennas you know um we're talking about something like in the 20 dollar range so i think that's the most impressive part about it check it out i'll put a link to it in the description if you want to pick this one up but i love the fact that it stands up alone so i don't have to put it in a window and i don't have to like rest it against something and kind of you know hack something together check it out peter von panda out